the thing is i should say honestly that we were focusing more on making bombs than on nuclear energy the union government is considering the eight crore tamil people as lab rats prime minister narendra modi was at kalpakam to witness the core loading of prototype fast breeder reactor It was celebrated as a historic milestone in India's nuclear power program because it was mentioned by the union government that it is an indigenous project. What is this prototype fast breeder reactor? Is this new in India or is this a program just an election stunt by Modi? Let's break the science terms first. Usually a nuclear reactor will uh, give you energy. That's it. And then create waste. You know, I mean like uh, the uh, unspent fuel and other things will be a waste. but the uniqueness of a fast breeder reactor is while uh, you are inputting some nuclear fuel from which you are generating energy you will also create nuclear fuel you will breed nuclear fuel not just waste you will be actually breeding nuclear fuel uh, in this case what we are going to do is in kalpakam uh, we are going to use thorium which is abundantly available in india and then convert it into a nuclear fuel. that's why this is called fast breeder nuclear reactor okay but why are environmentalists against this breeder project they even say this is an outdated model india is claiming to be running first in a running race where nobody else is running so we are claiming to be first 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 but there is nobody else is running in this project so world over they have tried this fast breeder reactor for the past 50 60 years it did not work it faced a lot of encounters so every country is shutting down or already has shut down and india is the only country which is into this uh, uh, research and it's basically it's like making the eight crore tamil people as lab rats because you, a, a, a reactor which has not been tested which has not been you know running run successfully anywhere across the globe is being installed and started in in a place where about 1 and 1/2 2 crore people live in chennai and nearby areas so it's basically considering that you know the union government is considering the eight crore tamil people as lab rats Science columnist Ramachandran went through CAG reports and find out that there was a big delay of two decades in bringing out this project. Since the project was approved in the year 2003, uh, with the deadline of uh, completing the project in 2013 itself, uh, it has been delayed by more than a decade now. Okay. That said, uh, it is uh, a technology not pursued by many countries. Okay. Uh, now, if if this um, PPR inauguration and the core loading becomes successful, uh, India would be the second country after Russia to have actually commissioned an operating breeder reactor. The project has achieved a significant milestone. The delay has been uh, due to various various reasons. Uh, technical aspects of it was one of the main reasons. Uh, that pertain to the uh, sodium coolant channel circuitry of the pro- of the di- of the prototype fast breeder reactor now that had several problems and because of that in rectifying various problems that they faced while loading the sodium into the circuit uh, they were facing many problems technology itself uh, uh, is indigenous because you, you can uh, not many countries have pursued it as such our entire nuclear program has been completely indigenous because we were never part of the global trade regime of nuclear technology and uh, uh, we were always denied uh, the nuclear technology right from the beginning um, so all our uh, pressurized heavy water reactors have all been indigenous so far we have 22 reactors so far um, uh, which are indigenous which are the pressurized heavy water reactors and two more at uh, uh kudangulam which are being built by the russians so being indigenous is not a new phenomenon when i met physicist govind rajan he gave me another perspective on the delay in this project the promises made by dae that we will achieve by 2020 earlier or 2000 or 2010 something like 10000 megawatt 20000 megawatt all those things have gone as of now we are producing about 6000 megawatt installed capacity out of which 2000 is coming from kudangulam reactor so the rest for 4000 is what is made now part of the reason for the thing is i should say honestly that we were focusing more on making bombs than on nuclear energy 
if we are focused on nuclear energy right from the days we prob probably achieved little more definitely and this is a technology nobody is going to give you because uh, these are all some things which are high end uh, this thing so we have to learn and do it by ourselves this is the situation as of now now given the situation our uh, this particular uh, statement now core loading they have even modified the remark they usually say that it will be commissioned now they don't even say that core loading i don't know what is the thing which they are planning to do my guess is this is a uh, election year there is some attempt to have something and at the same time some achievements are there now i'm waiting for what is really achieved subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates